G'day guys, this is your bubbly host, H2O Queen. I hope all my dream streamers are well. Have you guys had a good week? Uh, I, hope, I hope you haven't had a good weekend as well. Uh, so I've got a, a couple of things to discuss, uh, to cover both in game and with my channel. So the first topic is regarding Pokemon Jewel. For those that play the game and perhaps are oblivious to this, either through lack of information or haven't had this happen to them, in my opinion, Pokemon Jewel is very lax in its security. When mobile games were first available, security wasn't the best. Uh, however, um, as you know, over time, uh, especially in today, um, today's year, 2018, security is much better than here and now than when it first was. So I am not sure as to why Haroz has not implemented security that is of standard for 2018. Uh, the current uh, way that the game is being handled it is as if the first, the, the first lot of mobile games were just released more than just a decade ago and it's not good enough in my opinion. So I don't understand why the Pokemon Company or the Pokemon Company International hasn't enforced uh, these measures onto Haroz uh, since Pokemon is also at risk uh, for a Pokemon Jewel not implementing better security. So I don't understand why that hasn't happened. So. If they can implement a payment system connect to connect to your Google or Apple Store, I am not. Too, um, I don't believe it would be too complicated to secure an account as well. So, for whatever reason, they can connect it to your Google Play, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, there's so many choices. Even uh, Apple has a, a game center as well. You can connect to that. So. Hopefully it'll be done because if not, it's going to cost um, them a lot of money because even I'm getting close towards not wanting to financially support the game until security is better because it just irks me so much. Um, now, in saying that, KDub from Pokey Fodder Server has started a petition with the aim to gain 1,000 signatures to then petition to Haroz for better uh, game security for us all. Um, as standing, there is more than 95 supports at the time I record this video. I am hoping that everyone who is watching my video, please take the time to sign this permission. Now, in saying that with the petition here, there is an option to say, don't display my name. So you can tick that and your name will come up as anonymous. See, name not displayed. So then that way only your country and your name not displayed as well as your comment comes up. Now, I have already signed this, so I give a really, really big round of applause to KDub for initiating this. I don't know whether or not if Haraz will implement this, However, the only way to know is to try and if enough people stick up for better game conditions, then we might actually get what we deserve. So let's go for a thousand signatures guys. Okay, on to my next topic. So now we're going to be moving on to a more lighter and happier topic. Here we go guys. As most of you can see by now, I have changed my channel's image. What I have on display here, this is my official logo. Ta-da! I have created a link in the description. Please check out Val's Etsy store Weird Tales if you wish to have a logo custom made by her. I absolutely love what has been drawn for me. I had some issues trying to explain uh, my image for my channel. Val had taken my vision one step further and with help of her son who was practicing calligraphy writing, she was inspired to design uh, these five raindrops which were interwoven with each other. 
The raindrops represent myself as my channel name H2O and the raindrops form a crown and the crown is for my other name H2O Queen. And then the infinity symbol has a pretty special and important part for me, not just in gaming but in everyday life as well. So I have implemented this into my logo as well and it is absolutely divine. I've always loved, uh, I've always had an affinity and loved watercolors and rainbow colors. So I've integrated this into the design too. It's been such a pleasure working with Val and I'm so happy I have this final logo which is very much close to my heart. Thanks so much Val. And also thanks very much to her son that, that inspired her to create this design. So I hope everyone really, really enjoys my logo. I can't wait to share it with you all. Okay, so now we'll be moving on to Pokemon Jewel. Okay guys, so I've got a, a box that I have yet to open from the team event yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Weezing, Snubble, Ingot UC, Cube C. Okay, I'm happy with that. So we're just waiting on the other boosters to open. So this is not a game day today because I did a whole heap of that in yesterday's stream. As you can see, I have also obtained my wonderful uh, Sylveon top 500 star so I am very very pleased with that so on to the notifications we have a notice regarding figure related bug bug details a lot of Volpex with the wrong wheel settings was distributed to some players yes I remember this what happened was is that uh, instead of having baby doll eyes Volpex pretty much had a very, very large blue and half a white wheel slice, which was extremely interesting. And I thought that would have been really amazing if it didn't have baby doll eyes. However, so they're going to go through and fix that to what it should be, which is uh, the purple baby, uh, baby doll eyes, the two blue dodges, and of course it's a freeze attack as well. Wouldn't it be nice to have a 50% freeze wheel. So they're going to have a, comp uh, a compensation in the way of a booster ticket for those that were affected. So they've got the Silver Moon Hall is underway. Then there is a maintenance announcement which is going to be happening from the 25th of July from 2am UTC to 8am UTC. Finally they are releasing version 6.1.0 so we should have a new logo as well with the game. And then they have the grass sphere plate. So due to the delay in the latest version of the game appearing in the app store, we've held off on adding the new grass sphere plate, which was scheduled to appear in the grass type booster six pack that came out on July 11, 2018. We're giving the grass sphere plate to those that got the grass type booster six pack between July 11 um, and, and, and then it'd be happening on the July 25th which should be tomorrow my time yep so there you go that is good news and then mellow tick is here this is the one I am most excited for I even did a design concept as well for Miller tick I had like a a small purple slice for beauty then I had a two mist portion and then I had a really really gold, large gold slice called enchanted uh, just because there's not a lot of gold figures at the moment however I very very doubt what I have considered will be implemented I'm also seeing coral in the image does that also mean that course is going to get a buff hmm I wonder about that one so I'm really excited. It looks like as if the figure base for Phoebus is pretty much the same as any I uh, like Corsola's uh, base. And Miller Tick has a new wheel base, which is interesting to see. So I'm really hoping that Manaphy gets some loving 
um, if not Militic might become the new support which I don't hope is the case because that would be just really really bad in general now before I conclude this video I have one more announcement and that the vote count for my previous video for channel advice has now closed and that the vote is in uh, and that is I will be announcing weekly to have your name announced if you have newly subscribed to my channel uh, I have got a time frame in mind I'm perhaps gonna start doing this weekly however it it depends on how many people subscribe to my account I am NOT doing this as a subscriber scam to get more people to subscribe to my channel this is legitimately coming from the heart to be able to appreciate my viewers in a, in a big way uh, and for taking the time to actually hit the bell and like my channel as well so I really really appreciate it and so the four votes that we've got have officialized uh, the decision with that so there won't be any more votes or polls taken for that now as it has finalized so I just really want to say thank you very very much for your time in watching this video sorry it was so long this is your bubbly host h2o queen over and out peace love light and joy and enjoy the rest of your day thank you guys bye